developing. It really is, and Huff has taken him on, and that's great. That was, that was very interesting, Robert Huff there. He moved out, he gave himself a view, and he went over the water jump there without touching the barrier. So Robert Huff moving into third place, running very confidently now. 400 metres to go, Lappuccini leads, Huff in second place, and then uh, Svenoy in third, Pronin is there, then the fastest man in Europe on paper, Austin Dart, the German. And remember, Britain over Germany, we must uh, see what Huff can do here. Huff takes it on, he takes Lambrosini on and he's making a go of it for 300 metres out. And Lambrosini has now started to move away. He's got to sit in, he's got to settle. 250 metres to go, a little less than that now. Huff in second place, Lambrosini, the very, very talented uh, Italian, is moving away. Svenoy in third, he attacks this barrier this time. About 120 metres to go and Huff in second place. This is a brilliant run by the Briton, if he can hold on to this, if he can dig in and hold on. Prone in it, but oh, he's done brilliantly well. Oh, and it's Lambrosini, he's taking on Lambrosini. And Huff going to beat Lambrosini. And this is a brilliant performance by a man on his Great Britain debut. Huff wins, Lambrosini second, Prone in third, Stenoy fourth. And Austin Dart fifth, but my goodness, what a performance and what scalps this man has taken. And what confidence. Actually, the last two times he approached the water barrier and decided not to uh, do anything other than hurdle it, uh, Kenyan style. Well, he was in such a hurry to try and win the race, David, that he decided he wasn't going to waste any time loitering on the barrier. But what a great performance by Robert Huff. I mean, that is a telling scalp. This man, Lambruschini on the inside, he's the European champion. He's Europe's only contender at the world level so far. The race was slow. It's obviously favoured Robert Huff, but what a performance. He's the name now. Well, he is, Brendan, because it's the first time that Britain have ever won this event in the European Cup, and it's come from a man who's representing Great Britain for the first time. Well, that was so impressive, and uh, really a young man who's come of age, we've said that several times, but he really did, he wasn't afraid, he ran it absolutely right, it was slow, he developed it, and he beat the very best. He did, that was the European champion in second place, and the man who got uh, Olympic bronze in Atlanta last year.